How you doing? My name is Thunder, and welcome. Well, and welcome, or welcoming you. You take, the, you choose to pick. To my uh, latest let's play that I decided to do next by terms of votings and random list generators. This is Auto Modelista, as the uh, it so enthusiastically announced, and. Basically, I thought, you know, I thought I'd try this game out because it's been actually quite a good while since I've really sat down to play it. I'm going to turn the music down so it's not, uh, we're drowning me out or nothing. But, uh, anyways. But, yeah, this is a very interesting game because it's actually, now you may not be seeing it right now because it's just a menus, but, uh, let's get right into the main mode of the game, which is where this, uh, where the let's play is going to be taking place. Where first we're going to enter in, in a garage. You may be able to see it already, but I'm going to wait till we uh, actually get to a car, to actually getting a car. Sorry. So we can we have a garage and we can just give it a name. I'm just going to call it my name Thunder. Uh, yeah, go with lowercase. Not a big fan of this setup, but whatever. Take it just takes a little while to get used to. I find. You just gotta get used to the fact that there's three letters for each air little area. You get three types of garages. You get Type 1, Type 2, and Type 3. I personally like Type 3 the most, so we're gonna go with Type 3. And then we already get a list of cars, because in this game, you don't actually buy any of the vehicles. You just choose them and dr drive them. Some of them you still have to unlock, but most of them you can just drive right out the gate. So, if I wanted to, I could start the game with a Dodge Viper. Just like that. But if I, or if I for some reason really wanted to. Uh, oh, nope, it's actually not available right now. I'll have to come back to it later, I guess, when I unlock it. In the meanwhile, though, we can, you just get all your bunch of different vehicles, and I could go through them all I want, but that would just be wasting some time just, you know, getting into the game and whatnot. But. Uh, so I started the last game with an ARC-7. I don't want to start with another ARC-7, just switch it up a bit. I used a Viper and TXR-1 as well, so let's go with, uh, let's go with a Nissan. Let's see, what do we have available for us? Ooh, 300ZX Twin Turbo. Let's, that would be a pretty interesting choice. Go with the 300ZX, because you don't usually think of people just deciding to go with that car as a starting car, but I do, because... I don't want to start with A, with A. Uh, hang on, is it only five letters? Yes, it is. So, I want to put... I'm probably just going to do this little anagram. I'm going to go with F-L-A-D. F-Lady. F-Lady F basically being um, a small, a shorter term for the car's Japanese name known as Fair Lady. So, yeah, as you could actually see here, this is a cell-shaded video game. Similar to the likes of uh, Jet Set Radio, this is this game. This is a cell shaded racing game, so it, it's a very interesting concept to say the least that they're going for with this. So it's quite out of the ordinary, but I tend to quite like that. Now there's a whole bunch of things we can uh, do here. There's something called like the Easy Tune, which you could use to, which basically all it really is, is putting the recommended tuning setup for your car depending on which track you're going to. It's very helpful in some cases. We, of course, though, if you want to be a little more specific, like this, you can put in some better tires. I'm going to go with the semi-slicks, because it's slicks is better for the pure racing tracks, and not all of these are completely pure racing tracks. So yeah, there's no there's no in-game currency, you just put on you just put on all the parts, like that. So that's pretty much what we're going to do, we're going to just put what, what the best things we can uh, get our hands onto right now. 
But do keep in mind, as it's shown there, you you do still have to unlock some of them. They're not uh, not <coughs> they're not all unlocked. So, for example, there I can't actually strip any weight away from the car because I gotta unlock that. And of course, Chris got the dress up here. You, you get a couple like little designs here. We'll go with this one because this is pretty nice. And you can just change the dress up parts. For example, we got the hood where. You usually have one, and then you gotta unlock the other. That's that. It's okay. We can change the mirrors if we wanted to. Nah, let's leave as is for now. Uh, bumper wise. Okay, there we go. We get like a somewhat '98 style bumper, which is nice because I always, I've always liked the '98 style bumper. So, but it's all subjective opinion, basically. You get this side skirt. You get the rear bumper. Ooh, that rear bumper is quite nice, actually. Uh, what? Do we have a lip wing? Oh, we do not have a lip wing. I guess it's because we already have some kind of lip wing, and then this would be what the the uh, not unlocked one would look like. And then we could choose no wing at all. I'm I like the lip wing, so I'm gonna keep the lip wing. Like lip wing, as you already know, lip wings are some of my favorites. We also get a selection of wheels we can choose from. All and there are manufacturer wheels as well, but we can't, but you can't choose like manufacturer wheels that aren't from your uh, brand, like you. So that's why they're like X'd out. And do we have any decent lights? Well, we got these like old racing style lights, which is a bit silly. But I'm gonna go with it because I just it it looks silly and I like it. And then we can change the paint if we want. So what I'm just gonna do is repaint the whole thing, which as you see gets rid of the color. There's two different ways you can do it too. You can either have um. Uh, like a slot, a slot of paint, or you can get, get, just get a, a straight up like RGB like this. If you're tr if you're trying to look for something a little more specific, so let's uh, go with a nice dark red, and then we could just stick with the uh, color palettes for the other bits. So go with the red there, and then we can go with a uh, a white. Sorry, and then we can go with a lighter shade of red. Here, which I'll, what, so I'll just uh, crank this all the way up. There, like that. So something like that it looks all right. But yeah, you can see that this game can, you could waste a lot of time with uh, stuff like this. You can actually make your own stickers, a la, like the same kind of style as a Tokyo Shroom Racer. But I'm not very good at that stuff, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. Not really gonna bother with stickers because I don't really care for them in this game. And then you can just change the license plate there, but no no point in doing that right now. Or at least even with this car to be in general. And of course you get your test run. So anyways, but there is a cut there is I'm not done just yet. We're going to be showing some more things. I know this just drags on a little bit. Don't you can as you play through the game, you'll also get these uh like these garage items where you can just put stuff in your garage and uh give it some t uh Give it some stuff around it to make it look a little more lively, like like as if it's a a more busy garage or something. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend too much time here. I just thought I'd show it off how it works. You just use the joystick to move around, you the triggers to um move the direction, and that's pretty much the case. And then let's let's put uh, let's just put uh yeah there we go one more and there we go that we're not whirl. Not gonna worry about the rest right now because it's very it's very time consuming. And then we get it. There's actually another secret there. And then you get this all this mail stuff, which I don't usually read because it'll just you get a lot through the game and it just stacks up and it just becomes a bit more of a pain to always have to go back and be like oh hey there's new mail so yeah we're not we're not gonna worry about that. Anyway, so that should be at least the basics cover. So let's finally get into some racing. And we we just have a level one, which we're gonna go right into, and we got a choice of three different tracks. We got the Uro Rocco Downhill Challenge Cup, the Freshman's Challenge Cup one, and the Loop Highway Challenge Cup one. Basically, level the star levels just basically tells you how difficult it is. And then the first prize tells you what you get. So two of these are your secret car, and then one's for tuning parts. So let's go with the tuning parts one first. The Freshman Challenge Cup 1. Try going with manual. Manual transmission. 
Also, you can just tune in more part, more of your parts there you can, to sort the track better. But we're gonna go with what we have right now because this should be okay. Right. So now you really get to see just how much of all of the cell shadings in this game and just how much the car really, all the cars really stick out. I mean, it's it's pretty interesting that they went with this style. I mean, oh God. Okay, I'm gonna have to possibly change that in the settings because. So it seems to be that the face buttons are um, what's cause what uh, is the uh, how to sh shift how to accelerate and brake, and then it's the triggers to shift up and down. But the Xbox controller, I always preferred using the actual triggers to accelerate and brake, and then the face buttons to uh, shift up and down. That's it's just more of a personal preference for me. That's just me. So you can see how pretty easy this is. Look at this. The 300 ZX is passing a Viper quite easily. Ooh, boy, that's too much. Handling's a little skittish. Not, not, I wouldn't say it's completely terrible, but it's, you know, it's not the greatest either, to say the least. But pretty much this is very simple to do. Not, not much challenge that's required here. Okay, keep it under control. So what I think I'm going to do is, for the most part, I'm going to try to uh, use a different car for, like, stage, like, or, or level, basically. Just to switch up the variety. This actually is not that very long of a game. It's not... The game's not very long, but, it, you know, it can, it's just all depends on your preference. I'm going to try to do what I can to get as many stages per uh, part. But if some drag on, I may, you know, split it, split them up in separate parts. So there you go. That's a pretty easy win. So the interesting thing about Automata Lista is that this is act. Even though this game was released as early in 2002, this uh, Xbox port that I'm playing right now was actually released two years later in 2004. Yeah, it came out quite a bit later for the console. It, it came out in 2003 for the GameCube. So yeah, bit of a weird thing they're doing there. And there we see we got a whole bunch of things, including stickers, stands, and all that kind of stuff. And of course we got an engine tune-up, which I will uh, quickly go and put on this car just to see exactly how much uh, beefier it'll make our car for the next one. Which is wow, look at that. That's a, an increase of 52 horsepower right there. That's a pretty decent jump. So this car is already we're already looking at a 377 horsepower car and we only started we only just did one car, one game one one game okay yeah one stage so far that's ridiculous but anyways so now I think I'm gonna go to the Uraraco downhill challenge cup because this is a this this is a little more fam uh, familiar territory for the uh, three 300 ZX or at least any car like this. So let's uh, let's give it a go. No, I'm just gonna. You can, if you don't want to sit through it, you can. Uh, you can basically just skip through those little camera transition openings. And wow, I managed to somehow sneak through that. Oh no. Okay. Sorry, I just trying to get used to this, and somehow I've turned on my blinkers. There we go, and I turned them off. Sorry, just it's been a while since I played this game, and it's what ended up coming up after uh, TXR2. So I'm just trying to get used to the hang of uh, playing this game again. Oh God, these walls really suck you in. I gotta, I gotta get my act together here. All right, so far seems nope. Never mind. Come on, car. Oh, we got some backfire there. And some more backfire. This car's uh, just spitting fireballs at us. Okay, and now it seems to be going smoother. Just, uh, man, all that bit of bad luck I was having there. Well, I don't know if I'd call it bad luck. It was just mostly stupidity for the most part. And another thing I guess you'll also notice, this game is very colorful. It's like, it's not exactly entirely just the settings of what I have on my Elgato. This game has a lot of color to it. Maybe it could just be the way the cell shaded graphics are shown, but there's a lot of color, to say the least. And 
just keep this thing together. Of course, I'm keeping the music in, even because just like TXO2, it's. I think it's music made specifically for this game, so copyrights won't be as much of a problem like it would have been in uh, other games. Actually, that was quite well, although even though they're catching up. Oh no! Oh no! Can I can I recover the win? Can I recover and steal the win? Yes, yes. Oh god, that was that was quite a scare. I just blew it at the last corner, but still managed to catch back up and steal the win right back. Oh boy, and of course, not gonna worry about replays because. You're, you're here watching me actually do the races live, not w watching me just do the replays. And we got a new card, which is a Subaru 360, a bunch of new items, stickers, and more mail that we're probably just going to pass by. So we only actually have to do two stages, or two, to win two of the three stages or races to unlock level two, but... But... We're not, we're not done yet. We still have Luke Highway Challenge Cup 1 to take care of. So for this, I'm going to actually go into the tuning if I can. No? I guess not. No? Oh no, yes. We want to go for max speed because this is a this is a high speed track for sure. Like, it would be very beneficial for this car to be focusing on speed in a track like this. So let's, uh, let's go! Okay. So yeah, so you can see the track light out there on the top right. Just the amount of straightaway because this is just a highway for the most part, it's a soccer highway. You can pretty much just tell why putting a high speed transmission would be beneficial. Oh boy. Come on. Let's get it together. And I'm just mostly blowing them by. Oh wow, this thing is moving. First of the air. Oh! Okay, drifting suddenly. And the walls. Yeah, these walls really slow you down in this game. even worse, I think, than TXR2 for that case. So yeah, definitely stay off the walls in this game. It's a very bad idea to hit the walls. Okay, wow. 165 and fourth gear, because this is only a five gear. This car only has five gears right now. Also, unfortunately, this is only a single lap race, so it's a pretty short one to say the least. Even though it's long straightaways, it's it's over before it's pretty it's over before you know it. So it's, all right, and there we go. Oh, keep off the wall. Good. If there was another lap. We could. Re this would have been a really good chance to see just how fast I could go on the straightaways. But yeah. There you go! Oh man. So that's uh, the first uh, <laughs> the first level. That was uh, pretty... Not The races are pretty short, to say the least, for this one. But there you go. They do get longer, but not. By, I don't think they do get longer by much, to be honest. And now we got a Toyota Sports 800. That's the specific vehicle I was going to try to look for a Toyota, because at some point later in this game, we're going to use that for something very potentially interesting, as long as it works. And of course, all the new items and all that kind of jazz. So level 1 is all finished. But, uh, yep. So, when we come back for part 2, we're going to be tackling level 2. Because, well, that's pretty much the way this uh, LP is going to work, for the most part. It may change, I don't know. But anyways... Regardless, guys, thank you for watching, and as always, take care.